In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an animated table of content slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I have put a grid and fill in the background. And when I click, a line comes and then the first option comes here, the page number with the shadow effect. And you can add the title and the detailed text here. And again, this also comes with the shadow effect and this is connected with the page one. And with the different color, it comes to page two. You can see here page three, page four, and page five. Likewise, I have created a few more slides. Let me just show you. You can see here this one. This way also you can do the animation also. It comes one by one. You can see here. And one more slide without any animation. I've just used some dotted lines here. And if the table of content is more, you can add something like this also and you can add if you can see here till page number 10 also you can add it all right so this also or this way also you can do it so you have got a variety of slide slides to choose from and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel powerpoint university you can join my telegram group with the help of this link it is also provided in the video description section and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to the gradient fill for that right mouse click go to format background and you can see here the gradient fill just click on the gradient fill and by default you have got four stops i'm going to use only three so i'm going to delete one and then the type should be linear and direction you can choose maybe this linear left you can see here so the left one i'm going to give some gray color here you can see here this also i can give somewhat lighter gray and here i'm going to give a white color okay so you end up looking something like this okay so if you want more white also you can just bring this white also something like this all right now go to insert shapes and i'm going to select the rounded rectangle draw the rounded rectangle depending on your requirement you can choose the size maybe i'm going to choose this much you can see here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give white color so white color here it's somewhat visible i don't want that to be visible so i can move this one you can see here this white more so that this is not looking from this side now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a shadow effect for that go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it black and increase the transparency maybe 60 percent then go to the effects under soft adjust increase the size you can see here and then i'm just going to bring this here and then increase the size a little bit and then just rotate it you can see here i'm just going to put it something like this and then send this to back so you got a shape something like this with the shadow effect all right now here you can add the title and any color of your choice you can give maybe i'm going to give red and i'm going to choose the font roboto or any good font which you feel comfortable you can just use it and maybe i can make it bold and then i can add some detailed text at the bottom I'm going to make this as a gray color reduce the font size again the same font i'm going to choose and then just put it here make sure it is properly aligned if you want you can just group it also these two things together so this one uh, set is ready so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to select all or you can press ctrl a also to select all ctrl d to duplicate and then just add how many you want depending on your requirement so maybe i can add only four all right if i want to add five also i can do it let me just select all and then i have to move this up you can see here i have to move this up all right 
and if you want i can just move it towards right also and then you can just change the color according to the requirement maybe i can just give some uh, random colors and make sure that the colors are visible otherwise if you give light colors for example if you give some colors like this then this will not be visible so you have to give some bold colors and then this one i can give some teal color all right now let's add the page numbers here so first of all go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key a small size all right shape outline you can make it maybe the red we have chosen here and shape fill you can make it white and let me just zoom in and i'm going to increase the size a little bit more by holding the shift key now press ctrl d to duplicate again hold the shift key reduce the size shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it red and put it exactly in the center all right and then i can just set both of this and group it and make sure that it is one is added here Control d and one more you need to add it here and make sure that it is properly aligned all right so like this i'm just going to duplicate select both of these and then just add you can see here Control d and make sure that it is aligned properly all right so something like this and then what you can do is depending on the color what we have chosen here we need to just change the color you can see here let me just change it one by one and i can choose the color sorry this color the yeah and here also i'm going to just do the same thing shape fill this color and i'm going to give this color so like this you need to just change the color for the rest of the options so you can see here i've just changed the color for all let me just select Control a and press select all and then i'll just move it a little bit this side all right and then i'm going to select this shape press Control d sorry not this i'm going to select the rectangle Control d to duplicate you can see here i'm going to reduce the size bring the other side so that it is visible let me just reduce the size i will zoom it and i'm just going to add it here and then go to format send this to back so it looks something like this and then this shadow effect also i can just duplicate bring the other side reduce the size you can see here and then this also send this to back all right so we end up getting a shape something like this you can see here so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select both of these shapes press ctrl d to duplicate and add one by one on each options and later on we need to just align it properly all right so i'm just going to send this to back this also i'm going to send this to back or i can just select one by one also by holding the shift key and i can send this to back all right so it's a time for us to just make sure that it is properly aligned so this is not aligned you can see here i can just move it and this also i think this is aligned this is also aligned and this also i need to align a little bit all right okay and you have to make sure that it is aligned properly to the left also all right now you can go to insert text and you can add the page number or the slide number i can just say page one again you can give the same color which we have used again i'm going to choose the same font reduce the font size and put it here press ctrl d this also i'm just going to put it here 
so just add one by one on each option and then change that one to this is page two this is three four and this is five so you can see here and if you want you can group it also now it's time to change the color according to the color what we have chosen here so this could be pink this is purple and this is teal color so here i'm just going to add the lines go to insert shapes you can select the line you can select either one line also from the top to bottom or you can just make it a separate line so depending on your requirement i'm just going to make it a gray color all right and then just send this to back and you have to make sure that this is all properly aligned okay i can just say align right all right and this also should be aligned and then you can add one more line which is connecting from this end to this end from here to here and again you can give the same color press ctrl d you can just add one by one something like this all right you can see here it should be properly aligned all right so you can see here our basic design is ready it's time to do some a little animation to it now i'm just going to group this together without the shadow effect don't select the shadow and press ctrl g to group it so it becomes one object something like this you can see here so this also i'm just going to group it without the shadow i'm just using the mouse or if you want you can just use the arrow key also to group it so once this is done and again if you want you can done this part also i can just select this again without the shadow effect don't select the shadow so if i select even i can select also not a problem but i want to give a different animation okay that's the reason i don't want that to select and here also so i have just grouped it so what i want to do now go to animations enable the animation pane the first line should come for that go to add animation more entrance effects and give a stretch click ok and then you can say from top so the line comes like this or instead of stretch you can give a wipe also so wipe is more better and make it from top all right and then this option should come for that i can go to again more animation effects and i can give the wipe effect here wipe effect you make it from right and then the shadow effect should come for that i'm going to give fade and this should happen after previous and again the same time the same wipe effect i want to give it should happen again from left you can see here again it should happen with previous if you want or you can make it after previous also and then the fade effect all right and that should happen after previous or with previous also not a problem so let me just play now so you can see here it comes something like this all right so this better to make it after previous and even this line also needs to connect so again i'm going to give a wipe effect which should happen from left and this should be with previous or i can just move this up also here all right so if i play now when i click you can see here it comes something like this so now it's easy for me i can just simply select the animation painter then again i'm going to select this one then i'm going to select this line then i'm going to select this and lastly i'm going to select the shadow effect so now let me just play it so when i click the page one comes the page two comes you can see here like this you can just add the animation effect for the rest of the, the options